Hello everybody, this is Jeannie T with It's All About Yarn, Knit and Crochet. Today is Whip Wednesday and I would just like to show you what I have began on my hook and on my knitting needles. The last time I was on I was finishing up on everything and I didn't have anything left to work on. I had finished this Trinity hat it's made with Briggs and Little Yarn and it's from Saltwater Mittens Classic. And these little tags, these little tags I just ordered on Wish. So I like this hat so much that I decided to make another one. I want it to um, make one of everything in the book, but look how it will go flat top. So like you could even tip it over but when you put it on it goes round round top very easily and uh, yeah I, I really like it. So this tag I got it at Wish and it looks so much like leather but I'm not sure if it is. So I had ordered a bag of multiple colors. They all say the same thing. But I also got from from there. I got these ones and you fold them in two to go on the brim. Let's see, I'll show you. They say the same thing. Now I don't know if <laughs> I don't know if this is backwards or not. Made with love. But these ones you fold them like this. sew them on. So I like these too. Where this one went across the stretchy part I just stretched it out just a little bit and then I sewed it on with the same yarn. So that's what I just finished. So now I wanted to make another one. So I wound up more of my wool the other day and I made a video on it. And I started another hat with the soft spun. And this is how much I have done and it's ready to go on the bigger needles. So, so far just the ribbing but it's a thick uh, it's a wide band nice wide band. I'm a size large ladies hand um, so the bands nice and wide to roll it up See the difference? It's the same hat. So, yeah, I need it to make another one. So, with these, I don't have a yarn bowl. Sometimes I'll throw them in a basket or into a little box. But I just found, cut off the bottom of a water jug, <laughs> and it's the same size. So I just stick it on the bottom and uh, what I need to do is knit or crochet those uh, holders that goes around the balls because who was it that showed them and I really like them. I just haven't had the time to make some and uh, I would definitely use those.
so next okay so that's my knitting now I had to start something for crochet because I get bored of working on one I can go and work on the other be right back so my shelf is getting empty here because I've been taking these out and I went on the Burnett site I was undecided what to make I was going to make this color along with white but I found this pattern on Yarnspirations uh, I'm not affiliated with any of the companies I'm mentioning but the Burnett, this Burnett has free patterns on Yarnspirations. Yarn I don't know if this is reading my video backwards or not, if it's reading the skein backwards. Um, anyways, I went on there and I have six balls of these and there was a pattern that required five but I might use all six. And this is this is what it is. It looks better than it does on the skein. Let's see if I can get that to come in. But it's got, it's a free pattern. So it's the one where you do a treble, uh, two stitches down, and then you do a double in the next stitch beside it, and you repeat it. Now I know the yarn is busy. This is how much I have done. It crochets very fast with the stitch. This is two balls. This is what's left from two balls. I can probably do two balls in a day. But I'm knitting as well and I like to do my knitting in the morning and then I work on crocheting in the evening and it's nice and soft. And if it goes long enough with five, I will leave it at five and I will make a matching pillowcase. And some child would really like that to snuggle up with. But I like the texture. And it's heavy as well. So you crochet one row with the trebles and the doubles and then when you're done that row of the design you turn it around and this is what's on the back. It's uh, pretty flat. You could probably use either side. So to knit coming back, or sorry, crochet coming back, you just do a single stitch all the way across. And it's getting big. But those are big, those are big skeins of yarn. And where I got them, I had ordered some Mary Maxim mystery bags and I ended up getting six of these. I must have ordered three. Yes, because I got three bags with two in each from the Mary Maxim mystery bags in Canada. 
we don't get um, we don't seem to get any cakes fancy cakes of yarn but we do get uh, often we get fluffy yarn or premier or lime brand we get some nice yarns just uh, over in the Canadian side we never get cakes so that's what I'm working on and uh, let me know what you let me know what you're working on and if you like my video uh, give me a thumbs up and please subscribe and uh, happy yarning everybody bye